You did a great oh. job, dude. You might feel pretty good when the congratulations are nonstop for defeating powerful nine-term alderman Pat O'Connor. We did it. And your campaign poster was drawn by an artist for DC Comics. He made you a superhero. I know. Well, so did the neighbors. <laughs> Andre Vasquez's neighbors made him the 40th Ward Alderman one of four Democratic Socialists elected this year to the Chicago City Council. So how does a Democratic Socialist think city government should operate? I believe that government should be a counterbalance that should provide for the social good. So when we're talking about meeting the basic needs for people, that government is there to provide that and should be reigning in the influence of big money. There is a move towards a more democratic, more progressive politics that a lot of us are now in a position to usher in. Both Vasquez and fellow Democratic Socialist and First Ward Alderman-elect Daniel Espada oppose the long-standing custom of aldermanic privilege, which gives members of the City Council control over public and private projects in their wards. To me, it means that a neighborhood has the decision-making power over the decisions facing the neighborhood. It means that we are seeking public solutions to public problems. Altogether, the City Council will have at least eight new members. Political philosophies aside, they cannot lose sight of the basics. Make sure potholes are filled and garbage is picked up. If you do that well, the neighborhood, your constituents, will abide a greater boldness and a greater courage in the policies you pursue for the whole city.